We got all kinds of stuff going on today. Well, you're getting it from two angles. Huh? You're getting it from two angles. Oh. John's camera shot. He filmed his buck tag yesterday, made an amazing shot. <clears throat> and so, we're going to uh, hike over this ridge just a small way. John's going to stay here and defend the truck from all the white-tailed does that might show up. <laughs> and Michael, running this camera, has never shot a mule deer. So when we get over there, if we see a mule deer, something tells me he and I are swapping places where I'm on that side of the camera, and he's on this side. And me, I'm just here to tell stories. <laughs> <coughs> Shot a mule deer before. <laughs> it's a nice, nice buck. Yeah, I'll shoot him. So what is, you see these does coming up here? Yeah. There's a fence line right there. Our best bet would be to drop down here, stay behind that ridge. He's gonna follow those does right up to that saddle. Okay. That's where I killed that white tail last year. Let's do it. So this is the camera guy gets to shoot one today. Once the sun clears that horizon, we're going to be lit up. So we got to get out of the shadow or out of the sun, get on the shadows of this ridge, and uh, get out there because that buck's already starting to head up to his bedding area. I've never shot something with a rifle before. So this is my first time. He's been an archery hunter his whole life. So we're going we're to convert him to the dark side today. We're going to try to at least.
because if that truck that just drove by looks at these deer, yeah. gets them nervous, they're going to be coming around okay. in this pocket right here. Sounds good. Yeah. This pocket is where they always bed during the day. So. Let's do it. So here was the deal. Michael wants a mule deer. I said, I want a white tail. We're sitting here. There's a bunch of mule deer on the horizon. We'd seen a nice mule deer go around the corner today. And uh, he disappeared. 
Well, while we're sitting here, a whole bunch of white tails. I mean, like probably 10 of them with two little bucks here, a decent buck there, and then this buck came right through there. I did not, I fully expected we were filling Michael's mule deer tag this morning. I know what happens. Here comes a white tail. Sorry, Michael. No, it's, I told you. So Michael, Michael's from Ohio. He's shot, he's hunted white tails all of his life. So the idea was we wanted to get him a good meal there. Well, we had one out in the field here that he wanted and it wouldn't cross over on the public. <laughs> it's just crazy how it happened. So I was behind the camera filming the mule deer on the horizon up there. And Michael says, I think I see a white tail buck coming. And it was, and then there's a doe, and then there's another buck, this buck I end up shooting. So we switch, he grabs the camera, I grab the rifle. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Nothing ever goes like you expect on our show. It's always some sort of chaotic kind of thing. So that buck's down there. I got trekking poles over here. I'm going to go get them, come back, get my stuff, and we'll go down and get the buck. He's laying down there. I saw him. He's a nice buck. Really a nice buck. You can imagine hunting this when it was all pine trees. He couldn't see anything in there. Beautiful five by five. Public land whitetail. This is so just like haunting in some ways. And that little dead snag right there that's broken off. In 2009, my whitetail buck died right next to that snag. Last year, just over this hill about, well, from where I shot, less than 150 yards. Shot a whitetail buck last year. Pheasants. <laughs> and uh, this year, this beautiful buck. That's, that's a beautiful buck, all full of knobs and knots. And you can see I like to hunt burns, right? Not just for elk, not just for mule deer. Here I am up on the high elevation part of this part of Montana hunting Whitetail bucks. It's been such a great couple days. We have John Cushman. Today is Veterans Day, and John came with us. He's been shot twice, two IED explosions, and he can't get around. And yesterday we got him a mule deer buck, and he was so happy. And then this morning I shoot this buck. I can't believe, I mean, this is just turning out to be a, an amazing weekend. It's not very often that a camera guy would hand you the rifle and say, no, you shoot this buck. I mean, that's a beautiful buck because I want to shoot a mule deer.
That's where the buck died last year. Oh. Well, this place has been good to me. Hope it keeps being good to us. Burns. And it burns, burns, burns. Feed from fire. Feed from fire. Last ridge up here. I see where we left my spotter. You can see it there on the skyline. Walking through these burns is a lot tougher uphill than downhill. It's all blown down, so when you're going downhill, you can kind of skip over them. When you're coming uphill, you can't skip over them, and you usually got a load of meat. So, you're just not remembering that it was this long of a walk to get out there. Why do I have this feeling that Gerald set this spot in here going in the right direction? Because he saw something that went on. 